tell you something that happened to me the other day. Are you ever walking down the street and you see someone with such an annoying face that you just want to punch them there and then? Because <laughs> the other day I just got punched in the face. <laughs> Starting to think I look annoying. <laughs> tell you something else about me. Uh, in the last three years, I've lost about 84 pounds in weight. Thank you. Listen to that, that's nice. A few people clapping, a couple of whoops. The rest of you just went with, couldn't give a fuck, mate, quite frankly. <laughs> that is not what we're here for. We're here to see comedy, not someone show off. <laughs> Dance for us, clown. <laughs> it's fair enough, that makes me feel at home. I'm from Great Britain. That is a very British reaction to that piece of information. <laughs> I've told that to audiences in America before that I've lost 84 pounds in weight. Very different reaction. Woo! You go, sir! You take control of your life. We want to hear your story. <laughs> I don't know where in America I am from. <laughs> My accent appears to be changing sentence to sentence. <laughs> and also, I'm becoming older and shorter. <laughs> but all the same, we're proud of you. Tell us your tales, traveling man. In England, it's just, yeah, I bet you're funnier when you were fat, you prick. <laughs> And I was, you should have seen me, it was incredible. I do the truffle shuffle, it was a great show. <laughs> but all new clothes, quite an exciting thing. I thought I'd craft a whole new personality for myself. The personality I settled on was badass. I thought I'm a badass now, I've lost all this weight. <laughs> thought I'd buy myself a new belt to reflect that. Now, I'm not wearing that belt tonight for reasons that will become very clear, but I've brought the buckle with me to show you. I thought, hey, what sort of belt does a badass wear? I thought I'm gonna get myself an eagle belt. There it is, the <laughs> eagle belt. Looking back on it, not what a badass wears, is it? It's what a dickhead wears. Uh, <laughs> the eagle belt, very much the dickhead costume. The thing you'll notice about this particular eagle, very sharp wingtips. Now, that was absolutely fine when I tried it on in the shop, standing up. As <laughs> Soon as I got that belt home and tried it on sitting down, I got a sharp, painful and physical reminder that I am still too fat for an eagle belt. <laughs> As those wings dug so far into my stomach, it was horrific. And they've actually started to leave permanent purple marks on my stomach, which has given the odd effect of my genital area being in quotation marks. <laughs> so I've done all this hard work down the gym, and I've ended up with a cock. <laughs> no one wants a sarcastic nether region. No one wants to pull their trousers and underpants down and for a girl to go, actually, that's the lowest form of wit, I think you'll find. <laughs> Plus, I hang slightly to the right, so it already looked like I was in italics. <laughs> no, it's just like a whispered quote down there. It's awful. <laughs> Never visit. Decided I had to get healthy anyway because I am a diabetic man. Another great reaction from you guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> Should we cheer? Is he dying? I don't know what to say. That's fair enough. I mainly tell you that I'm diabetic for the, for the ladies in the room. Again, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> not the sexiest condition on the disease smorgasbord. In fact, it is the only condition where I've had to stop halfway through sex to have a Kit Kat. <laughs> I've been telling that story for a while, and the other day at a gig, a woman at the back shouted, Oh, how lovely a break. Had to have my penis looked at. It's a nerve-wracking thing for a man to have that area looked at in a medical context. Really scary. Built up the courage, got down to the doctors. That courage was immediately destroyed when I found out that the doctor who I had an appointment with was a lady doctor. Now, obviously, I've got no problem with women being doctors. In fact, fuck it, give them the vote. That's what I say. <laughs> but anyway, I popped it out. <laughs> she said, well, looks like we've got ourselves a penis. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've been a gamble. Good night.